Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tori and today I am going to kind of go through a little bit of planning and plans and setup of my Week in the Life album. Now, originally at the beginning of the year when I did my project plans for 2024, I had thought that I was just going to use a Week in the Life notebook but I really wanted to try and do this project again in an album and just do it a little bit differently than I did last year because I still have not finished my 2023 week in the life, but I did look through that album, what I have completed at least, and I really loved looking back through it. So I want to try the album again just a little bit differently than I did last year and see if that will work out better for me. Now I do have this little kind of folio thing. It's from Target. And in here I have my not so daily planner and just a bunch of other random things. So I keep this with me m most, most of the time. Um, and this is basically where I just do like daily journaling. And I don't know if this is something you guys would like to see me flip through or anything like that. Uh, let me know. And I can see if that's something I could put together. This is the one that I set up for today. Um, and I just need to start doing some of my journaling down. But in this notebook, I kind of took this idea from Linda Loves Creating, and I will link her channel below. I wanted to try and plan out what kind of photos that I would need to take, as well as maybe some layouts. I didn't get very far, as you'll see. Um, but I do have some photo ideas. So I think one of the biggest problems that I had last year was trying to be too specific with my photos. So I've arranged some of the photos that I wanna take a little bit differently this year. And I will talk about that probably when I'm doing my voiceover for the setup portion. But I have a ton of product here. This is the <laughs> week in the life buy all option that was available on Allie Edwards website. I uh, get decision paralysis. And I did this last year too. I also got the buy all option last year. With this buy all option, I f it was just easier for me. I only had to worry about checking out with one thing. It was expensive, obviously, but I was thinking of maybe putting together another video with like a giveaway of the things that I might not use because there is some products in this selection that I'm not interested in. So leave me a comment down below and let me know if a giveaway is something that would be interested or interesting or of interest to any of you um, because it's probably going to include like bits and pieces of the kits, some of the items that were in here that I, that I know I'm not gonna wanna use. Um, but I wasn't sure if that type of giveaway would be of interest to anybody, uh, like with bits and pieces of certain things. So let me know down in the comments below and I probably will say as I'm going through this product, the stuff that I don't really like. So first and foremost, let's get all the big stuff out of the way. So I have both of the albums here. This is the one that I will be using with all of the days of the week right here. I will be using this album for my Week in the Life 2023, 2024. Now, I'm, I don't know how I feel about this album. I actually do really like it with the gold dots. So I will probably keep this, uh, but I have the album from last year, the 10 by eight album, and I don't like that one. So if I did do a giveaway, I would probably include that album from last year. Let me grab it and I can show you what that one looked like real quick. This was the Week in the Life album last year. And like I said, it's just not really my vibe. I did try to use it and set some things up, but I just, I wasn't feeling it. Um, so if I do do a giveaway, if that's something y'all are interested in, this is the album I will probably include. If I do use a 10 by eight album, it would probably be for December daily. And I think the gold dots work really well for that. This one, I do not feel works well for December daily, at least for me. <laughs> and then we have all of the things here. So the buy all bundle came with all of the stamps, all of which I love. This one is my favorite. And I love symbols. So this is another favorite here. 
This is for the You and Me. This coordinates with the mini kit, the You and Me mini kit. And then just numbers, and I am a sucker for numbers and alphabet stamps, so I am loving all of the stamps that will be included or that were included. And then there's also the Week in the Life notebook. I'm not 100% sure if I will use this this year or not, or if I will just keep it for next year if I decide that I don't like using the album, if it doesn't work for me again this year. The add-ons, I believe everything that is still out was an add-on on the site. I will definitely be using these transparencies. The day of the week is on each of them, so I will 100% be using those. I might use these banner uh, plastic pieces. I do really like some of them. Let's see if this will focus. I do really like some of these, so I will probably use these. I love pleather pieces, and each of these have a symbol for the day of the week. And I was thinking maybe I will put the pleather M or S or whatever on the coordinating transparency. These two pieces I do not like. They are gorgeous. Obviously, the quality is great, but I... I'm not a huge fan of the grid of this, and I didn't want this many half circles. Um, and I just, I don't feel inspired by either of these. So if I do a giveaway, these will likely be in that as well. And then we have the mini kits. These are another thing that I'm not sure if I'll use because I do not plan on doing any two by two pockets in my album this year. So that might be something that gets put in a giveaway pile. These are a bunch of ampersands. I love these. I love these big words. This I might not use this year, but I would use it for other things. And then there's just a bunch of vellum pieces, all of which I love, and some vellum like three by four cards and a bunch of symbols. There's a bunch of unboxings of these things, so I'm not gonna pull everything out, but I will kind of just let you know what I think I might use. I might use these too. I like all of these, so it's a half circle, a tag, and then this one is a circle punch out, which I have not used since I started crafting online. So that might be something that I would include in the giveaway, but the other two I would keep. So that is the You and Me kit. And then I also have the main kit. This one has a bunch of cards, three by four and four by six. I love these vellum pockets. These are amazing, I love them. And then I have these transparencies and this was another thing that I was thinking would look super cool on top of the transparency. So I've got like just the plain white and then I could have a big bolt color version of that. I actually really like the way that that looks, but I don't know if it'll be too much to have the same word on the same word. It also comes with a chipboard and I really like the idea. I saw this one on Allie Edwards video. These banners fit perfectly behind these date banners on the chipboard so those will work really well together i definitely plan to use these this tag shape it's got a different color for every day of the week that matches with each day of the week's color and i i just don't know what i would put on the back of this yet but this is something i definitely want to include and then seven of these morning afternoon and evening cards I'm still undecided on if I wanna use these. And then these ones, I will probably use these because I love to cut things in half and just place them on my photos. There's a ton of these in here. I think some of them are blank and then there's little phrases like this one says Sunday observations. So there's a lot of stuff. But like I said, there's also quite a bit of stuff that I don't actually like, so. Let me know in the comments if a giveaway is something that you would be interested in. Uh, I know I keep saying that, but I'm super on edge or I don't know. I just don't know if what 
like the type of giveaway that I'm offering is something that people would be interested in. And I'm also a little worrisome of sending something with my address on it. Because, you know, strangers on the internet and all that good stuff. Um, but I think there's ways to do that. I would just have to look into it a little bit more. So yeah, just let me know how much interest there is in the comments. And if there's a lot of interest, I will definitely put a video together with all of the products that I'll be giving away. So, now that we've gone through all of the product that I have and my album, I do kind of want to start doing a little bit of setup. And I've got a couple of ideas here for what I want to do. The first one is I want to do a transparency with something on top of it. So either that pleather circle or maybe that um, clear day of the week. I want to put a transparency first. Then I want to do like an artsy full page photo. And on the back of that, I have the digital version of, let me open this. I have the digital version of this. So this timekeeping page from a previous December daily, or not December daily, week in the life workbook. And I, last year, let me show you what I did last year. Okay, last year, what I had done was I, wrote, I pulled this up on my iPad. I pulled this up on my iPad and I wrote everything on my iPad for the day to day. And I was thinking I might do that again, but just print it so it fits on the back of a full page photo. So as an example, I, this is what I did last year. I, I still had the transparency and something on top of it. And I had that laying over a full page photo, which I really loved. And I do want to do that again this year. And then on the back of that full page photo, I want to print out the week in the life, like day by day timeline and just paste that on the back of here before I go into any additional photos or anything like that. So I want to do that again for this year because that one really worked out well for me. And then I only have the next two pages planned here, which is going to be the three by four and four by six pocket page. And I wanna have a filler card on each side and then a different, like a photo, and then a photo on this, and then the high-low card that is included in here on the back of that. So that's really all I was able to plan out as of right now. Um, and I think that's just because I haven't really opened up all of this product to see what I have. So what I'm going to do now is kind of set up these first couple of pages for each day of the week that I have. And then I will make additional decisions, potentially, maybe not, who knows, make some additional decisions on what I think I might like to do for additional pages. And you will, you know, I'll bring you right along with me. So I'm going to take out all of these. <laughs> Um, cause I know I'm not going to use all of them and just pull out the ones that I know that I want to use. And I'll probably have to dip into my stash because there isn't seven of each kind of page protector. So I do love the four by four page protectors and I do love the three by four the four, uh, the four pocket page protector. And I love the three pocket page protectors. Those are usually my favorite when I'm working in page protectors. So I grabbed those out. And then let's just go ahead and I will probably fast forward a little bit and just kind of talk about some of my main plans um, for what I'm gonna want to do for setting up my album and what photos that I plan on taking every day. Um, and then essentially any photos that I take outside of that that I will want to include in my setup will just kind of be like 
extra page protectors that I'll just add in at a later time. So I will give it over to my fast forwarded self and, you know, give you any other thoughts that I have over my voiceover. So the next portion of this video is really going to be me just kind of getting everything placed around, seeing how I'm feeling about certain objects being next to other objects, and really just trying to get myself set up a little bit for success for this project this year. I will also go over a little bit of some of the decisions that I made closer to the end of the video as well. And since I've already talked so much about all that, I figured I would take this time to discuss some of the photos that I think I'm going to plan to take during Week in the Life. Last year, I really, I didn't set myself up knowing just how I am as a person. I chose photos that could only be taken during certain times of the day, which really just made things very difficult for me. I do work a full-time job, so some days during the week I am not home until after it's dark outside, so it was just not conducive to my way of living. So the photos that I decided that I wanted to try and take every day for this year are a little bit different. So I did mention earlier that I am going to want to do a full-page kind of artsy kind of blurry artistic type photo and that in my mind can just be anything could just be any random thing around my house I just want to take my nice camera and make it look artsy and fancy last year I had tried to do an outfit of the day photo and I found it really difficult to take full-bodied photos of myself so I'm going to scrap that for this year and I'm just going to do one selfie each day. That's my goal for this year, just a little selfie each day. And then I also want to do a random everyday currently item, which probably doesn't make much sense. But in my thought process for selecting this is going to be things that I'm currently loving or using regularly around my house. So I'm a person that goes through like mini obsessions kinds of things where I will love certain types of foods. I'll love certain smells. I'll just love certain things for a brief period of time and then I will move on. So I really like this project for kind of tracking those things. So as an example, for that particular photo, I will probably take a photo of the shampoos and conditioners that I'm using for that week or the current candles that I'm obsessed with buying or maybe just the current snacks that I'm obsessed with. So just a random everyday type currently photo. I do also want to include a reading photo every single day. I didn't do this last year because I felt like it would be too repetitive, but I really feel like that would just be easy and realistic to my life. So I am going to include that this year. Um, and then my daughter will be out of town during the week of Week in the Life. So I am planning to include either a video call, screenshot, or a like a photo to be sent to me to just include in my album during that time. And then the last thing that I have planned so far is just a photo of each of the plants around my house. I have seven or eight plants. So I have just enough that it would be perfect for me to take one photo of each of them each day and just put it in my album. And I love my plants. That's a big part of my life as well. So it will be perfect. If you have any ideas of things that you regularly document during Week in the Life, I would love to hear about those down in the comments and talk to you about them if you've got any ideas that you think would work for me. So back to what I'm actually doing, I am working on now going through some of the products that I have. I'm going to cut out these cards here. I don't like <laughs> these um, cards that I just placed down, the ones that say Mun, Tu, and Thor Fry. These ones that I'm flipping through right now, I don't like these. 
So I'm going to just set those aside because I'm not going to use them. I don't like them at all. And I pulled out the rest of the cards that I did use. I'm going to use the Monday through Sunday high and low cards. I think I might try to keep track of the weather, but I'm also... I don't ever pay attention to the weather forecast, so that might be a little bit difficult for me, but that's an idea that I'm thinking about using for that as well. And then I'm going to sprinkle some of these 3x4 cards just around some of my days of the week to have some filler cards in my album already. I don't have enough of those cards to fill in every single like filler space that I think I might want, but I will go through some of my old Week in the Life supplies and see if I've got any kind of neutral generic type cards as well. I pulled out these little pockets from last year, these four by four pockets. <clears throat> I thought that these looked so good with that kind of tabbed insert card and they fit perfectly on the back of it. The only problem that I had with this is that Saturday the blue did not match and it wasn't even close. All of the other days of the week, the colors were almost perfect matches. And if they weren't perfect, they were like really, really close. Except for Saturday. And I think that's enough to bother me into not using those. Let me know what you think <laughs> on if you would use these ones from last year or if you would just stick to the ones that were released this year. I honestly had forgotten about the ones that were released this year and that's why I didn't pull those out first. They're underneath my album and I'll pull them out momentarily. I will kind of flip back and forth and see if I like one more than the other, but I just can't decide. So let me know. what Which one do you like more? <laughs> on and start getting some of these other papers added into the album. I'm just going to punch holes in these morning, afternoon, and evening cards and get those adhered into the album. These ones will very much be incomplete and not be completed until I actually start working on this project. I have a couple of ideas for ways to kind of complete this particular page and I won't be able to do it or any of those until I actually get into the album for it to look the way that I want it to look. After I get these added in, I am going to start kind of going through the rest of my items, I believe. I will also add in one of the vellum 3x4 cards, but for the most part, I'm going to start punching all this stuff out. Let me know if you are also setting up your Week in the Life album with me. I would love that. I am going to just play a little bit of music while I get all of the rest of this adhered or, you know, kind of placed into the album. Like I said, I will also be adding those vellum 3x4 cards to the album as well. And then I'm really going to just kind of separate all of the rest of the products and get them kind of laid out in a way that will lead me to be successful. So I will place just a little bit of music and I will be back in a little bit.
so the last thing that I'm gonna do here is kind of get all of my remaining embellishment or add-on or whatever type pieces separated and kind of matched up with their coordinating color day. So I will set all of these out and separate them Monday through Sunday and then match up any of the reds with Monday, the peaches with Wednesday, the hot pinks with Sunday, and then I will kind of place all of those in a full page protector so that I can easily be able to access those for the coordinating day whenever I actually go back in and embellish anything. Anything that doesn't have a specific day designated to it by the color will end up going in a clear acrylic like organizer that I have that I keep on my calyx shelf and then essentially if I go through all of the already colored items and just want extra embellishments maybe I take a ton of extra photos one day and just need some extra embellishments or filler spaces I will go into this little acrylic organizer and use some of these products as well because I know that these will be ones that I do want to use and get used up for this year. I do like having a set list of photos to take each day and then I'm just going to plan to try and take more general photos in general. Um, so I don't know how much embellishments I will need for each day until I actually go into the documenting process. So I've got all of the colored items kind of separated out. I'm going to also separate separate out these plastic pieces as well and get those on their coordinating days. And then the last thing I'll do is try to sort out some coordinating colors of these banners that I can use to place on the back of those days of the week chipboard pieces. I did find this portion very frustrating because it didn't feel like these particular banners were meant to have seven days of each kind. I could not find a color that matched Sunday that was in like the gold foiled frame. And I really wanted to have the color for each day to place behind that chipboard piece. Ultimately, and you'll see that I went through this like four times, but ultimately I decided to just use a piece of white and just be done with it because I was getting a little bit frustrated flipping through these and I was like, "There's this, this is not something to get frustrated over, so let me just stop. <laughs> but yes. So everything else outside of this is just going to be kind of opened and placed in that acrylic organizer. And I will keep that near my desk whenever I am finally doing all of my documenting. I left some things in the packages, but the things that I think I'm going to use the most, like these ampersands, I am not leaving in the package. Then I'm just gonna get everything added into a page protector and get those placed back into my album. All right, so I've got my album kind of as set up as it's probably gonna get set up today at least until the actual week in the life documenting week starts in two weeks now, I think it is. Um, so I kind of wanted to share a little flip through of what I've got going on. I'm thinking I'm gonna wanna use this as my opening title card and then put my reason why on the back of this. I'm not adhering this together and putting it in the album because I think I'm gonna run this through my printer to type up my reason why. So that's just gonna set there for right now. I've put the transparency in. I think I'm gonna stick with the transparency days of the week and I'm just gonna put it right on top. I played with both of these in the video. I might have even talked about it a little bit but I think I just like the way that looks the most so I will probably put those right on there. Behind each of my transparencies, I have a little bag of all of the coordinating products for each day of the week. So anything that said Monday or that was the color of Monday, I put in here. And I also have these two little pockets. One was from last year and I 
I'm sure I talked about this in my voiceover as well. And I think I'm gonna put those on the back of this or one of them. I just can't decide which one. So let me know what your thoughts are on that. Um, which, what, which one would you put in your week in the life? I added a couple pockets. So I added the three pocket page protector. I'm gonna put my highs and lows on the back here. And then I have the pleather day of the week. This is going to be a filler pocket on each of them. And I think I'm going to adhere this to the outside of the filler pocket, but I'm just kind of sticking it in here for safekeeping for right now. So I can remember that that's what I wanna do with it. I'm gonna put a pocket on the back of this. And then I think for my morning, afternoon and evening, I think I might track my moods for the day on this, either moods or meals, but I'm, a, I'm really bad at eating when I'm supposed to eat. So I don't think that this is gonna be beneficial for me to track my eating in this format because I'll just have a bunch of blank <laughs> spots and then one that just has all of the food. So I'll probably do my overall mood for the morning, afternoon and evening on this one. I'm thinking I'm also going to, when I trim this down, adhere the rest of this transparency to this as well, but I'm not trimming this down just yet because I want to adhere them together after I figure out what I'm gonna put on the back of this. And then for these ones, I just added a couple of filler cards. Um, and then I don't know what I will do with these remaining pockets yet, because that'll either just be room for more photos or more filler cards. And then I just set that up the same way throughout all of the rest of the spreads or the days of the week, I guess. I didn't have filler cards, enough filler cards to fill every single one of these. So I'll have to go through my stash and see if I can find a couple of more, probably more like neutral ones, like back here on Monday where it's like all black. Yeah, another one that's just kind of like black and white. I think I might probably separate these throughout and then just go through my stash and get some kind of monochromatic black or white like very neutral filler cards to just kind of break up some of the color because there is a lot of color in this album so far so that's kind of my plan um and I would love to know down below as well how you would like to see me get this album put together I might work on it throughout the week. Would you like to see a video each time I work on it throughout the week? Or would you like to see an overall video at the end of the week where I'm just kind of putting everything together uh, with my photos and my words and everything else? Uh, just kind of putting everything in the album all together at once in one final video? Or would you like to see it broken up to two videos? One where I'm just doing photos and words and the other one where I'm just kind of doing uh, all of the embellishing. Let me know what your thought preferences are for how you would like to see this come together or would you not like to see any process videos at all and just kind of see a flip through once I'm finished? Just let me know. But yeah, so that's kind of everything that I've got set up so far. And now that I've got some kind of pages established and some stuff laid out, I am going to kind of go back in and make sure that I am adding some different kind of photos that I wanna take for each day and adding in to my sketch, like how my layout is gonna go. That way I can make sure I've got a comprehensive list of photos that I wanna take um, for each day of the week. All right, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.